And from outside Africa, the WHO and about three quarters of the global health care workers on Monday called on governments to step up climate action at the COP26 Global Climate Conference they're saying it could save millions of lives a year. The United Nations Health Agency's report on climate change and health calls for transformational action in every sector. The public health benefits of ambitious climate actions far outweighs the costs. The WHO has previously said some 13.7 million deaths a year, or around 24.3% of the global total, were due to environmental risks, risks such as air pollution and chemical exposure. It is not clear exactly how many of those are directly linked to climate change. The WHO's Maria Nera said about 80% of the deaths for, from air pollution could be prevented through compliance with its guidelines. The benefits of uh, tackling the causes of climate change could be that if you reduce air pollution, if you reach the recommendations of WHO in terms of levels for particulate matter 2.5, we could reduce by 80% the number of deaths that are occurring every year due to air pollution. Imagine this represents 5.6 million deaths that could be safe, could be protected. Whatever you do to tackle the causes of climate change will have enormous benefit for the health of the people. And those benefits for the health of the people will come essentially from the reduction of air pollution, for in improving air quality. And, and let me put you the figures again on the table. Every minute, and this is a horrible figure that I always hate to, to put on the table, every minute we have 13 deaths caused by exposure to air pollution. That our health is not negotiable. Um, we're going into climate negotiations, we're negotiating many things, um, but the life of a single child, uh, whether, it's to, whether it's lost to air pollution or climate change, is not something that should be, uh, be on the table. So that's one of the key messages. There is a, a, a saying in the climate negotiations, particularly from the most vulnerable countries, of 1.5 to stay alive. That's, uh, we need to uh, stay below 1.5 degrees centigrade warming in order to protect ourselves. We mean it in, in, in health terms. It really is a case of staying alive for, for many people around the world. The health Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.